your new favorite place to practice, home. For more full-length classes of all styles for all levels, join me on bananablondiyoga.com. Let your yoga practice be fun. All right, friends, make sure you're wearing a nice thick pair of socks. You might even want to double up on those socks and keep those blocks close by. Let's come onto all fours and do a few little wrist warm ups. So, we're just going to lift and lower the heel of the hand here, keeping the fingers pressing into the ground. Good. Lifting and lowering, just beginning to warm up the wrists. We're going to be putting a little bit of weight in them today, so we want to be mindful. Maybe take a few circles in each direction here, rooting down into the palm of your hand, rooting down into the fingertips. Good, keeping it together in the core here, knitting those bottom ribs together. Now make a fist with your hands, bring the knuckles together and press the backs of your hands into the ground, really straightening the elbows, stretching the tops of the wrists here. And now come to sitting on your heels. Let's just take some circles with the hands here, moving in each direction. Maybe interlacing the hands and taking some circles that way. And then snaking them from side to side. You can also go ahead and take any other wrist warm ups that are calling to you. Good, and I like to open and close my hands here. Really being mindful of those wrists throughout today's practice. If you feel any pain, any tension there, don't hesitate to give those wrists a little bit of a break. Alrighty, go ahead and sit on your tush, legs out in front of you, soles of the feet on the ground, knees are bent. Place the hands behind you and turn the fingertips out to the side. We're going to swivel the knees from side to side here. As we're doing this swiveling motion, we're going to have that core engaged, right? So we're going to be drawing those ribs together and pulling in the lower part of the navel, keeping that tummy tight, staying in the working zone, just warming up here. Now you can move a little slower than I'm moving if that feels better to you. And then go ahead and come through to all fours. Knit the ribs together, pull the lower navel in, and extend that right leg out behind you, tucking the tailbone under. Now draw the knee in, extend it out. Good. Exhale in, inhale, extend. Exhale in, inhale, extend. Good. Exhale and inhale, keeping the core tight as you move here. You're dragging the top of the toes on the ground, really keeping that scoop, that tuck of the tailbone under, almost creating a C curve with our lower back. Nice. Go ahead and take it over to the left. So just drawing the knee in on an exhale, inhale and lengthening. Exhale in, inhale, lengthen. Good, staying with this flow, pushing the floor away from you and finding a little bit of length with the neck here. So we're reaching the crown of the head forward, creating lots of space throughout the entire body. Good, lower both knees down, come to sitting on the heels and take a deep breath in, arching the back, lifting the chin, opening up those abdominals for just a moment. Now this time come up into plank on top of the toes. So feet are pointed. We're gonna drag that right knee in and extend it back, in and back, keeping the core engaged, keeping that low belly sucking in. Ribs are knit together. Good, take it on over to the left side, dragging the knee in and back and in and back. See if you can keep the rest of the body still and stable, just moving that knee in, pulling the belly in, pushing the floor away from you. Really good job. Lower the knees down, take a deep breath, arch the back, open up those abdominals for just a moment. Then we're gonna come right back in and we're gonna do four of those on each side. So find your plank with the toes pointed, Resting on top of the feet, take a deep breath in and exhale, right knee in and back and in and back. One more on the right, good, switch it to the left. Nice job. Bringing the knee in and back and in and back. Really good, lower the knees down, take that deep breath, arch the back, open up the rib cage. Good, come back into that plank with the pointed toes, two on each side. Good, right side, just two, 
and then take it over to the left for just two. Good, lower the knees down. Take a deep breath in, find that little arch to the back. And then this time come back into your plank with the toes pointed and we're just gonna do some sliding climbers here. Just switching and switching and switching and switching. Pull that lower belly in a little bit more. Good, lower the knees. Come into that little back bend, deep breath here. Lift the chin, let the belly open up. Nice job. Now we're gonna take those blocks, extend the legs out and take the blocks on either side of your hips here. On an inhale, you're going to lift the hips up and slide the toes forward with straight legs. Good, exhale, we're gonna shift the hips back, pulling the belly in, flexing the feet. Inhale forward and exhale, take it back. Good, inhale forward, exhale, use the belly and the pelvic floor, take it back. Inhale forward and exhale, take it back. Good, inhale forward again and exhale, take it back. Try not to use momentum here, staying with this flow, using that breath, lifting from the pelvic floor, drawing that belly in to lift the hips back. Good, lower the hips down and take a little fold forward for a rest. And then rise back up, maybe circle the wrists out a couple of times. Place your hands back onto the blocks. This time we're gonna bring the soles of the feet down to the ground, knees bent. Inhale, lift up and exhale, shift it back. Inhale, lift the hips and exhale, shift it back. Good, inhale, lift the hips up and exhale, shift it back, lift them high. Inhale, take it forward and exhale, bring it back. Inhale forward and exhale back. Inhale forward, lift them up nice and high. Exhale, take it back. Inhale forward last time. Exhale, shift the hips back and lower the seat down to the ground. Roll out those wrists, give them a little stretch. Now go ahead and make your way back onto all fours. I want you to keep the upper body nice and stable here. So engaging that core, extend the right leg straight behind you. We're gonna kick that leg forward and back, forward and back. Stay right here with this flow. Try to keep the upper body completely stable and still as you move with the leg. Good, switch sides, extend the left leg back and then sweep it forward and back. Good, drawing that lower navel in, pushing the floor away from you. Ribs are knit together. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward and the tailbone back. Good, lower the knee down and come into puppy pose for a few breaths, just opening up those abdominals, giving yourself a nice little stretch, nice little break here. Now this time we're gonna come into plank on tops of the toes, so feet are pointed, and we're gonna do that same movement from plank. So sweeping that right leg forward and back, take it to the left, forward and back. One more time on the right, forward and back, and then once on the left, forward and back. Good, lower the knees down, take a deep breath in, find that little arch, lift the chin. Take a little moment to massage out the arches of your feet. So I like to use the knuckle of my index finger to give myself a nice massage in the arch of the feet there. Good, sometimes my feet get a little cramped up when we're doing these exercises on tops of the toes. So enjoy this little break and then we're gonna hop right back into it. Now pop right back into that plank on top of the toes and same thing, right side forward and back, left side. Take it over to the right once more and over to the left once more. Now we're gonna tuck the knees in and extend the legs out. Good, tuck the knees in and lower down to the hips. Bring that arch into your back, take a deep breath, lift the chin and then come right back into that plank on top of the toes. Same thing, right side and then left side. Keep the upper body stable, right side and then left side. This time we're gonna tuck the knees in twice, in and out. Keep the belly in, in and out. Good, lower the knees down, sit the hips to the heels, inhale, big breath, lift the chin, open up the belly. 
Good, and bring the feet around in front of you. We're gonna take that same motion with the knees swiveling side to side that we did in the beginning of class here. Keep drawing that lower navel in. Just swiveling from side to side, using the hands to keep the upper body stable. Good, knitting those ribs together. Nice, and come back to center. Extend the legs out, take a forward fold. And inhale and rise up. It's time to use those blocks again. So we're gonna grab the two blocks, extend the legs out and place them a little bit wider than hips distance. Take the blocks just a few inches outside of your ankles on their medium setting. Sit up nice and tall, hands to your hips, and we're gonna draw rainbows over the blocks just like this. Good, as we're drawing these little rainbows over the blocks, we're keeping the knees straight. We're keeping the heart lifted. Most importantly, we're keeping the belly engaged. So those ribs are knit together and the lower belly is pulling in. Root down into your sit bones and continue to draw those little rainbows with the feet over the blocks. Good, so all of that movement is coming from the strength of the lower belly. Take a little forward fold, breathe into your belly. Maybe keep the feet a little wider apart so the belly can rest in between the thighs. And then come back up. Let's take the blocks a little bit higher. So place them on their highest setting in the same spot. And same thing here, drawing those rainbows. Now, if you get to the point where you can't get the feet over the blocks without knocking them over, you can always lower them back down to their initial setting. Otherwise, continue to draw those little rainbows. Knees are straight. Spine is nice and long. Keep those ribs knit together. I'm gonna to keep reminding you of this, guys. I know I say it a thousand times in these core classes, but it's the most important thing. Good, we're almost there, just a few more. Try to keep that upper body nice and still. Good. Right here, you can take a little fold forward, let the belly be soft for just a few moments. Take some breaths into that lower navel. Maybe take a little stretch back, lift the chin. Good, now this time we're going to stack the blocks up one on top of the other. So they're at their highest setting. Same thing here drawing those rainbows over the blocks. Now, if you find that it's too high, you can go ahead and lower it back down. Try not to collapse the heart forward as you draw your rainbows. See if you can keep it lifted. Everything is nice and tall. Ribs are closing off. Continue to breathe deeply as you draw those rainbows. Good, you're all done with that one. Go ahead and fold forward. You can set one of your blocks aside and we're gonna come to our backs and place the other block on its lowest setting underneath your sacrum. Now, if this feels okay to you, no pinching in the lower back, you can straighten out your legs. If it's a little too intense, you can always just try straightening one leg at a time. Go ahead and extend your arms up over your head and take some nice deep breaths here into your core. So really feel all those core muscles lengthen with each inhale. You're creating more space and every exhale softening. You can stay right there in that stretch or you can extend your legs up towards the sky. Wherever you are, you want it to be feeling good. Maybe gently placing your hands on your lower navel. 
being grateful for all that your core did for you today in this class. Lower the feet back down onto the ground. You can remove that block and set it aside. Extend the legs out long and bring your arms alongside your body for your final resting pose. Let your eyes close and feel free to rest here in Shavasana for as long as you like. Namaste.